I'm so happy to be with my colleagues, Scott and Jason, who are going to tell us a little bit about the Sex Addiction 101 work group. So what is a work group and how does that differ from a workshop or therapy? Um, well, basically the work group is, um, there is a Sex Addiction 101 workbook and we're working through that workbook as a group. Um, there's a it's more of a class than therapy. Um, you know, with the workshop or, or with inpatient treatment, there's a lot of therapy, there's a lot of processing. Um, this is a shorter time frame, it's quicker, um, but you need to do the processing on your own outside the group. But you will do the exercises that will get you started in recovery. So is this limited to men? T tell us a little bit more about the group, Jason. It, it is limited to men um, so that we can uh, have confidentiality, uh, so that we can talk about things that we wouldn't talk about in mixed company. Uh, we want to uh, educate on all of those things. So uh, that's why we close it off to men. Yes. What is the benefit of participating? Can't someone just do the workbook themselves? They could do the workbook themselves. Uh, however, they will not get anywhere near uh, the, the fullness of what comes in the group. Not only, uh, you know, two minds working together is better than one. So, you know, multiple uh, heads on the same thing uh, is better than just working by, its, by a person by themselves. Um, so you get uh, iron sharpening iron, um, learning more about the content itself. But then also we have uh, the authors of the book and the workbook themselves uh, as a guest speaker. Dr. Rob Weiss uh, is a guest speaker. Also another uh, professional and expert in the field, Dr. David Fawcett will be guest speaking as well. So you certainly couldn't get that by working on the, on the book by yourself, that's for sure. I suspect there's also some structure and accountability because you're set up. I've spoken with many people who have talked about, I have that workbook. And then I say, have you worked through the workbook and it's sitting on their nightstand. So, so I suspect that you guys both will find that there's um, the accountability and participation lends itself to people actually doing the work in the workbook. If someone is participating, but they're still struggling and acting out, what do you suggest as the next step? Uh, they definitely want to uh, contact us at Seeking Integrity so we can uh, make some specific recommendations tailored to their needs, whether that's uh, meeting with the therapist in their area, uh, coming to inpatient therapy. Um, they're going to need a higher level of care. And what are some resources that are supplemental to the work that you're doing in the work group? Well, there are uh, lots of webinars. I think 15 webinars on sexandrelationshiphealing.com that's put on by experts and therapists in this field. There's lots of SAA meetings and other meetings that are online right now via Zoom uh, and other uh, media or uh, uh, internet outlets. Um, and... Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to have to do that one. I'm going to hit stop. <laughs>